Hi dear students, this video is for those who are preparing for NET and SET examination or any competitive examination. In coming few videos, we are going to discuss about the previous question papers uh, and the questions which were asked in the previous examinations. Now, you see that here we have June uh, 2018. Uh, question paper and uh, we are going to discuss 25 questions in the same or uh, I will cover 25 questions as you know the very pattern of uh, this examination net there are 100 questions for 200 marks and you will get 120 minute times here uh, means you will get two hours of time to solve the 100 questions in this video we will cover 25 questions and i will give you answers of the same this will help you to understand how type of, uh, what type of questions are asked in the examinations now dear students uh, first let me clear a few things to you that please take a pen and paper and write down question number one like this and before question number one whatever your answer is write down one two three four so these are the options and check your answer immediately i will tell you the answer of the same questions in this way you can prepare or you can solve the question paper which we are going to discuss here now let's start with the very first question now here you see very first question which narrative poem by lord tennyson presents the story of a fisherman turned merchant sailor who after a shipwreck is marooned on a desert island and there are four options very first option crossing the bar second tithonus third eunuch arden and fourth mod now you can write down your answer just write down question number one like this and before that whatever your answer is two or three or four so that you can check your answer immediately and the correct answer to this question is you see here number three eunuch are done so i will provide this uh, powerpoint in a pdf form uh, on our telegram channel that is literature simply this is literature just go and check their literature simply this is our telegram channel i will uh, send this pdf on the same so the correct option is eunuch arden next question let's see number two in memorial versus matthew arnold Play, pays tribute to three great poets who are they or who are those great poets and options are a goth shakespeare wordsworth now how you are going to recognize or how you are going to point out which answer is correct the method is very simple if you look at matthew arnold now matthew arnold has written extensively on so many issues he is a critic and uh, here in uh, memorial verses you find there is one poet who, uh, who is not discussed in the same by uh, matthew arnold and he is shakespeare so this option will not be the correct option shakespeare is not there again you see here in the second option you have shakespeare and shakespeare also is not there again here we have shakespeare and also shakespeare is not there and the correct option is you see here number four goth wordsworth and byron these three poets has been discussed by matthew or not so it is important you should know at least one or two poets in the series so that you can understand or you can guess what can be the correct answer so goth is there again wordsworth also is there and byron is addition so milton is not there and shakespeare is not there so again we have milton and shakespeare so in this way you can point out but the thing is that you should know about at least one or two poets which are there so uh, this may be the clue for your answer number three now who among the following english playwrights wrote screenplays on novels such as marshall prost's in search of lost time john falls french lieutenant's woman and margaret atwood's handmaid's tale now these are the novels but who wrote uh, the plays on the novels and you have four options number one john erden number two edward bond number three harold pinter and number four david Hare or david harry now you see that all these are playwrights but uh, who wrote the uh, 
plays based on the novels and the correct option is here you see Harold Pinter next question number four the years in English literary history between 1649 to 1660 so uh, this is regarding the periods in English history or history of English literature I have made a detailed video on the same on periods of history of English literature you can go and check uh, the periods of history of English literature now the options are neoclassical period second commonwealth period third steward period and number fourth Jacobian period now you should know about what is the uh, date or what is the period of uh, this neoclassical movement then commonwealth movement and then Jacobian period and the correct option is number two it's commonwealth period so this is the commonwealth period this uh, period is known as commonwealth li uh, literature or commonwealth era next number five in RK Narayan Swami friends Swami and friends which game offers Swami the best kind of emotional release from the strains and pressures of disagreeable circumstances so there is a game discussed or there is a game in the novel called Swami and friends uh, and the options are a one cricket two football three tennis and four hockey it's very simple question and the correct option is cricket next William Blake expressed the importance of particular when he said that to generalize is to be dash to particularize is the alone distinction of merit fill in the blank so what is here in this blank space and options are a an idiot number two a poet number three a dreamer and number four a skunk and the correct option is a an idiot next which of the following was not the dialect of old English now you should read the questions very carefully so that you can understand the question clearly not the dialect of here it is the dialect of it's not here not is used so number one Irish number two Northumbrian number three Mercian and number four Kentish which is not the old dialect of English and the correct option is Kentish this is not the uh, dialect of old English and all these are the dialect of old English so again here you can form uh, different types of questions based on these questions next here Anthony Burgess's last novel published in 1993 is called a dead man in dead fort who is the central character to whom the title refers and options are number one Sir Walter Raleigh uh, he is a literary person again Sir Philip Sidney also a critic number three Christopher Marlowe a dramatist and number four Earl of Southampton but among these we have a character from the same novel so that character you should recognize and the correct option is Christopher Marlowe and this is Kim Marlowe it is uh, in the novel comes as Kim Marlowe or Chris Marlowe this is the name of Chris Marlowe or Kim Marlowe central character next question now here you see choose the correct chronological order and here you find that uh, the order need to be set in the correct um, uh, way number one William Caxton prints the first English book basically it is in uh, actually 1485 uh, or 75 or 76 this is the probable date uh, I think of the first English book uh, printed by William Caxton then William Shakespeare's first folio now this is appeared in 1623 so these dates you should know again John Milton's Aeropagitica uh, it is the last uh, in this series uh, I think because Tottel's miscellany comes before uh, William Shakespeare's uh, first folio so this is not the answer second Tottel's miscellany William Shakespeare's first folio uh, William Caxton prints the first English book John Milton's Areopagitica uh, second also is not correct number three William Caxton prints the first English book then Tottel's miscellany 
विलियम शेक्सपियर फर्स्ट फोलियो एंड जॉन मिल्टन एरियोपेजिटिका दिस मे बी द आंसर नंबर फोर विलियम शेक्सपियर फर्स्ट फोलियो जॉन मिल्टन एरियोपेजिटिका विलियम कैक्सटन प्रिंट्स द फर्स्ट इंग्लिश बुक एंड टोटल्स मिसेलनी एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज नंबर थ्री दिस इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फर्स्ट कम्स विलियम कैक्सटन प्रिंटिंग प्रेस then he prints the books then totals miscellany then shakespeare's folio and last milton so this is the series number 10 what does the phrase art pictura poesis from horace's art of poetry mean what is the meaning of this phrase number 1 as in painting so in poetry number 2 poetry beggars pictorial description number 3 as in poetry so in painting and number 4 picture above all poetry now it's very simple uh, you need to understand the meaning of these words now this stands for as this stands for painting it's very simple painting and this is for poetry now you can guess so as in painting so as in painting so in poetry after so in poetry so the correct option is number 1 as in painting so in poetry number 11 who among the following is the author of account of the augustan age in england 1759 and option number 1 john gay number 2 william hazlitt number 3 oliver goldsmith and number 4 samuel johnson so you should know who wrote which book or who wrote which text and the correct option is oliver goldsmith he is basically famous for vicar of wakefield his novel next in how many parts did servantis publish his novel don quixote and option is number 1 3 number 2 5 number 3 2 and number 4 12 how many parts are there of the novel called don quixote or quixote and the correct option is it is in the two parts next here you see lytton stretches eminent victorians carries biographical sketches of writers and public figures identify the list that correctly mentions those eminent victorians and the options are a cardinal manning florence nightingale thomas arnold and general gordon Number two, A. E. W. Mason, Sir Arthur Quiller, Coach, Matthew Arnold, Robert Bridges. Number three, E. F. Benson, Cardinal Manning, Lord Tennyson, Beatrice Webb, and number four, George Harding, General Gordon, Robert Browning, Mrs. Humphrey Ward. And the correct option is number one, Cardinal Manning, Florence Nightingale, Thomas Arnold, and. general gordon so these are the eminent victorian figures in the uh, in that literary movement next 14 one of the following statements about eponymus saint of dryden's song for saint cecilia's day is incorrect identify that statement so we have to identify the incorrect statement there is only one statement which is incorrect and the other three statements are correct so it is very simple to understand very first just saint cecilia was a roman lady and early christian martyr she was a roman lady is correct saint cecilia was an armenian devotee this is not correct she is not armenian number 3 saint cecilia's festival is celebrated on 22 november in england so this is also correct again saint cecilia was patroness of music who was babbled to have invented the organ and the correct option is this is also may be true and the correct option is number second this is the incorrect what is it it is the incorrect statement and all other statements are correct this is correct and this is also correct Number fifteen. Which of the statements on Michael Roberts' Faber book of modern words, nineteen thirty-six, is not true? Again, here what is not true means there are three statements which are true, but one statement is false. Number one, his anthology canonized modern poetry and poets for quite some decades. Number two, the collection begins with the poems of Robert Bridges. Number three. 
here you need to understand whether it is begins with robert bridges or not number 3 Ro roberts omitted the georgian poets in his anthology number 4 aids eliot and pound find a place in the faber book of 1936 and the statement which is not true is number second robert bridges so the collection begins with the poems of robert bridges is wrong number 16 who among the following proposed that the first gulf war had never taken place it was simply a hyper real media generated spectacle and the options are richard rotty number 2 John Francois Lyotard number 3 John Budria and number 4 Umberto Eco or Umberto Eco now this is in the post modernism it is in the post modernism and post modernism has been described uh, as the extension to modernism or the incomplete project of modernism by John Budria and the correct option here you see number 3 john bodria so according to him that first gulf war had never taken place it was a hyper real or it's an hyper reality so it is in post modernism now number 17 sir thomas brown's urn burial was prompted by number 1 the discovery of ancient burial urns near norwich number 2 the contemporary researchers on burial rites in norway number 3 the death of saint francis of assisi and his burial number 4 the publication of the english book of common prayer and the correct option is number 1 the discovery of ancient burial urns near norwich next number 18 identify from among the following list those that cannot be called war fiction and we have four options a a modern instance b catch to to c the age of innocence and d the naked and the dead and the options are number 1 a and d number 2 b and c number 3 a and c and number 4 b and d now the correct option is here number 3 a and c means a modern instance and see the age of innocence next 19 who among the following writers was not the one identified with the movement of 1950s england number 1 roy fuller number 2 kingsley amis number 3 philip larkin and number 4 donald davy and the correct option is number 1 ron roy fuller next which of the following novels does not belong to the nuruddin faraz blood in the sun trilogy now here does not belong so this is important number 1 maps number 2 knots number 3 gifts and number 4 secrets and the correct option is number 2 knots this does not belong to the nuruddin faraz blood in the sun trilogy and all the three are the part of this trilogy maps gifts and secrets 21 in the following series which one has all the poets correctly matched with poems here we have to match poets and poems you see number 1 ezekiel poet lover bird watcher ramanujan small scale reflections on a great house dat sunset at puri and mahapatra our kozerina tree number 2 ezekiel sunset at puri ramanujan small scale reflections on a great house dat our kozerina uh, tree mahapatra poet lover bird watcher number 3 ezekiel poet lover bird watcher ramanujan sunset at puri dat our kozerina tree mahapatra small scale reflections on a great house number 4 ezekiel poet lover bird watcher ramanujan small scale reflections on a great house dat our kozerina tree and mahapatra sunset at puri now here uh, the thing is very simple that you should know about uh, the poet and the poem so this is ezekiel and these are the poems of ezekiel it is correct again ramanujan and this is the work of ramanujan reflections on a great house so this is you can see uh, if you know two poets or some poems you can recognize the correct answer and here dat 
सनसेट एट पुरी इज इन डाउट एंड अगेन महापात्रा आवर कॉजेरिना ट्री ऑल्सो इज इन डाउट नाउ यू कैन फाइंड दैट इजी किल्स दिस इज नॉट इजी किल्स पोएम सो दिस ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग अगेन इजी किल पोएट लवर दिस इज करेक्ट अगेन रामानुजन दिस इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड नाउ यू हैव ओनली वन ऑप्शन रिमेड फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज नंबर फोर इजी किल पोएट लवर बर्ड वॉचर रामानुजन स्मॉल स्केल रिफ्लेक्शन ऑन ए ग्रेट हाउस दत आवर क्वाजेरिना ट्री सो दिस इज यू शुड नो एट लिस्ट थ्री पोएट ऑन सम पोएम्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू फ्रॉम अमंग द फॉलोइंग आइडेंटिफाई द इनकरेक्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन रिगार्डिंग फर्डिनाल डी सशूर्स सेमिनल डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन लैंग एंड परोल now which statement is incorrect and we should know about lang and parole the very theory proposed by ferdinand de saussure now number 1 parole is the particular language system the elements of which we learn as children and which is codified in our grammars and dictionaries whereas lang is the language occasion what is is to be now here also is very simple what is lang actually you should know about these two terms what is lang the definition of lang and the parole now uh, if you look at the first uh, option you find that it seems correct second a language consists in the interrelationship between lang and parole this statement is correct why because it is the interrelationship between lang and parole this is correct number 3 Sashur made this crucial distinction in a study called a course in general linguistics. This is also correct because in general linguistics he talks about this lang and parol. And the fourth option is lang is the particular language system, the elements of which we learn as children and which is codified in our grammars and dictionaries. Whereas parol is the language occasion. What A says to B. Now, if you look at this. Uh, in these two statements, we have to find out the incorrect statement. Here, what is said? Lang is said as a language system, and here, parole is the language system. What is parole is the language system? In these two statement, one statement is correct, and the other statement is wrong. Actually, the lang is particular language system, and parole is the language occasion, and the. incorrect statement is number 1 parole is the particular language system it is incorrect because parole is the occasion here you see and the this statement is incorrect and all three statements are correct 23 john haywood wrote a farcical interlude called the four p's who were the four p's in that uh, interlude and we have options a palmer pedlar apothecary a packer actually there is no packer number 2 a printer so this is also is not true a pedlar apothecary and palmer number 3 a pedlar a person a palmer and apothecary so three are there in this uh, four p's this is also uh, and apothecary so three p's are this three p's just one p we have to recognize and the correct answer is number 4 a palmer a partner a apothecary and pedlar so partner is correct next question 24 in the mechanical drill method of second language acquisition a the learner has the freedom to choose from many responses b the learner's response is totally controlled c comprehension of the item by the learner is not required number d comprehension of the item by the learner is obligatory and we have options number 1 a and d number 2 a and c number 3 b and c and number 4 b and d just check and understand and the correct option is a and d so what is there the learner has the freedom to choose from many responses because it is mechanical drill method of language acquisition and the comprehension of the item by the learner is obligatory and the last question here we have just read the lines of this poem here we have a stanza and based on on this stanza we have to answer a few questions now just i will read first thou wilt not wake till i thy fate shall overtake till age or sickness must marry my body to that dust 
इट इज सो मच लव एंड फील द रूम माई हार्ट कीप्स एम टी इन दाइ टॉम स्टे फॉर मी दियर आई विल नॉट फेल टू मीट दी इन दैट हॉलो वेल एंड थिंक नॉट मच ऑफ माई डिले आई एम ऑलरेडी ऑन द वे एंड वी हैव ऑप्शन वॉट वी नीड टू डू हियर इन दिस लाइन्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रीडिंग्स डू यू फाइंड अप्रोप्रिएट टू द स्पिरिट ऑफ लाइन्स अबो वट इज एप्रोप्रिएट जस्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड नंबर वन इन दैट इंटरस्पेस बिटवीन द लाइन्स द एंडिंग ऑफ वन एंड द बिगिनिंग ऑफ अनादर दिस इज राइट बिकॉज वी फाइंड दैट वंस एंड ए लाइन एंड द सेकेंड बिगिन्स जस्ट लेट मी शो यू हियर यू सी दाउ विल नॉट वेक सो देर इज नो कॉमा और नथिंग फुल स्टॉप टिल आई दाई फेट शेल ओवरटेक सो here he, the first line ends second starts again the third line ends and fourth start again we find that next line ends and the next line starts and here we have end so there is a silent internal language the poem's language within the language tacitly signaled through the deployment of rhymed space so this can be the correct option but let's see second Aging and dying are, of course, helplessly passive. So passivity is not there actually in the poem. Just if you read, you will understand. But here, love makes them as though they were now also willing things in the husband, eager to join his dead wife through simple, intimate tones of their shared earthly life. Stay for me, wait for me. I will not fail. He not only imagines her, but imagines her thinking of him. next option the lyric voice here can feel the poem speaking back to him in the cold lineal stare of there was nothing in my life in my belief even as his dead wife did not it is as though the poem itself then demands his response in order to be able to move from one line to another to attempt that movement in keeping the poem space alive the lyric voice asserts i will not fail to meet there in that hollow well now if you look at all these options you find that all options you see that may be correct but there is only option uh, only one option which is correct so don't think a lot about these options or don't go in the implied meaning of that particular poem just find out the surface level meaning or the surface level uh, things or surface level uh, structures of the poem so that you can understand the question uh, uh, such kind of questions uh, does not need a deep thinking what we do generally many students when read this kind of stanzas or lines they uh, think very deeply and they go into the implied meaning of that particular poem and hence the options becomes uh, irrelevant or incorrect next option let's see my whole nature was so penetrated with grief and humiliation of such considerations that even now famous and cursed and happy as i am i often forget in my dream that i have a dear wife who died leaving me alone in this world even that i am a man and now i wander desolately back to that time of our lives when my wife and i shared moments of bliss now this is uh, the option you can recognize that this cannot be the correct option here because i often forget in my dream so this kind of things is discussed here and the poem uh, says that uh, he be, uh, longing for his wife and so this option is not correct and the correct option here is as we have discussed number 1 uh, what is the first option it is that the ending of one and the beginning of another there is a silent internal language the language uh, the language of the poem is language within the language right and tacitly it is signaled through the deployment of rhymed space if you look at the poem you will find there are a rhyming scheme there is a particular kind of rhyming scheme so these all are 25 questions i hope you solved all the questions and you can calculate your score uh, as it is assigned that there is uh, 50 marks for 25 questions now out of 50 how many marks you get please comment below in the comment section let's meet in the next video thank you very much